Right, welcome back, Jebelali. We're just going to finish off my little design here by creating a, a cushion that will sit on top of our chair to make it a little bit more comfortable. So I'm just going to... No, actually, I'm not needing to ungroup. I can leave my shape as it is. And I'm going to get my rectangle tool. Now, this time, I'll go for a coloured box. And I'm going to... Right, actually, what I need to do is first... I don't want the box anymore, so I'm pressing escape, so I get my my pointer back. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to move my chair so it's aligned with the checkered area. So I, it's easier. If it's aligned with the checkered area here, it's easier for you to add things to your design. Okay, so I'm just going to put that nicely in there. Now, a little trick. You can move it with your arrow keys your keyboard just move it then it moves it one little square at a time so i'm moving up down left and right so it's a little tip for you there for making very small movements so if i just move that in there perfect now i'm going to add a box so i'm going to add a box that's going to be a similar size to my chair so i'm just going to drop it there and i'm going to drag it the corner handle to make it a similar size to my chair. Then I'm going to drop the height like that. So that's going to be my cushion. Well, I want my cushion to be a rounded cushion. So if you see here, you've got some settings. You've got the radius, and that's what I'm going to change. So if I change the radius, can you see the edges become rounded? And that's going to be my cushion. So there's my cushion. And once I've done that, if you remember from before, I used triangle to lift my shape. I think it needs to be more than 40. Because if I remember here, if I click, it will tell me the height, I think. Of my, I think it's around 40. If not, I can orbit round. So yes, perfect. I think that's right. So there's my cushion. Obviously, it's not in the right place yet. But when I drag it here, it will be so I've just rotated above and if I want I can make it slightly smaller than my chair and then I get a nice red cushion on my chair and I can use the arrow keys now to move that perfectly into position and if I rotate I've got a nice red cushion on my chair now your next challenge is what you've learned on these couple of videos to create your chair, I want you to create a, another piece of furniture. Maybe start with a table that the chair fits under. Okay? Try that, and I look forward to seeing the results of your computer-aided design using Tinkercad. Take care, and see you soon.